Hi guys, I've had this little fella for quite a long time and when I do try and fly him, it doesn't last for very long. So we're going to have a look, see if we can get inside and possibly change the battery or better still, given the chance, make it so we can swap the battery out in the field. So pretty sure all of this comes undone. I may even have done this before in the past. Because I've got a bit of tape on the front there. Looks like I've put a bit of that um, Gorilla Glue on there. The stuff that foams up a little bit and goes yellow. Must be careful, that's the aerial wire there. Just where my finger is. Definitely don't want to cut in through the battery. That would be a bad thing to do. I can see the battery. It is right there, right where I was putting the knife. So we definitely don't want to go in very far with the knife. holding it on this side. Right, well there we are. That's what's inside, one little battery, well, and obviously the RC gear. Oh, that's glued in place. So, 130 milliamps. And it has got a protection board on it to avoid over discharge and overcharge. I'll have a look, see what I've got. I'll say ideally, it'd be nice to cut a slot out of there and have a battery we can just push up from underneath and maybe put a bit of tape around to hold it in place. And obviously that's positioned just right for the centre of gravity. So if we're going to move it or change it, we might have problems with the centre of gravity. But at first look, that's a nice slot up there that we could just cut that out. Replace these leads with plug-ended leads, so we can plug them into a separate battery. And then we can change the battery when we're out, out and about. If we can find a couple of suitable batteries.
Well, we got it apart. We'll just have a closer look. So we got battery, receiver board, motor, motor, aerial, and that's the feed to the two motors. Well, what I would like to do is replace the battery with one of the ones that I recover from vapes that I find laying in the road. They come in various sizes. This fella is 130 milliamp hour. It'd be handy to know its weight. Bearing in mind, I'm having to add a bit of nose weight on this anyway, so we could go a bit heavier. That one is 400 milliamp hour, so that's quite a jump. But that's going to be quite a bit heavier than that. So it's a matter of whether it could actually cope with that extra weight. That one looks that one looks about the same weight, and that's only 350. Um, right, let's do some weighing. See that one looks nice. So that's eight grams. I would think that that one's going to be significantly less than eight grams. Uh, right, I really want to cut it up up here somewhere. I, what I'll try and do, if I do swap it for the other battery, is retain this um, protection circuit. Right, zero, three grams. So we're talking about changing from three grams to eight grams. That's a lot of weight to add. But it also means we should get four times the run time. And as I say, I should be able to take that nose weight off it. I reckon it's worth an effort because that's going to fit in there with a little bit of trimming, just a tiny little bit of trimming to the foam. We can stick it in there. I won't be able to pull it out and put it back in again easily, which is what I would have liked to have done, made it replaceable. But I'm going to go for it. We'll give it a try. If it works, winner. If it doesn't work, we'll try something else. Right, I'll tidy this up in a minute, but just to prove it does actually work. Before I put it back together, we'll just see if it can actually charge off this charger. So we'll come back later. Well, I've left it charging for probably a couple of hours now. Charge light is still on. So it may pay me to put an extra lead on the battery to bring it out directly out so I can charge it up externally from a different charger. That might be a good idea. The only thing is that I'll add a little bit more weight and we're already going to be well overweight. So I think what we'll do is we will try it out 
as it is just to see if it can actually fly with that size battery in it and then we'll worry about whether we want to um, put an external lead on it for charging it and I could just cut that and run it to a different charger because at the moment it's trying to charge it off the um, six AA batteries that are in there which is all right but it must be running them down quite significantly because we're trying to get a 400 milliamp hour battery charged with what was expecting to just charge 150 milliamps so it's probably charging at a very low rate and probably it could take hours if it manages to do it before it flattens the AA batteries Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.